Thursday, the sheriff's office announced who killed Danielle Houchins, the 15-year-old girl who was raped and murdered right here at Cameron Bridge nearly 28 years ago. And although we now know the killer, we still may never know what prompted him to kill an innocent girl. After nearly 28 years without answers, without justice, we celebrate today. September 21st, 1996, 15-year-old Danielle Houchins left her home in Belgrade and drove out to Cameron Bridge fishing access. But Danny never returned home. Several hours after she went missing, Danny was found by family friends murdered. He was the one who forcefully and violently sexually assaulted my sister, then held her head down in a marsh until she choked to death on mud. Who killed Danielle Houchins? That was the question that remained unanswered for almost 28 years, until about a month ago. During the initial investigation, four hairs were collected from Danny's body. The sheriff's office reopened Danny's case in 2019. New technology gave hope for a different outcome in this cold case. The preserved evidence was first sent to a forensics lab in California, where it was run through the FBI's combined DNA index system. No matches were found. But investigators didn't give up. A match was finally found in the database of a large American genealogy company through a court order. Preliminary DNA analysis led us to Paul Hutchinson of Dillon, Montana. In July of 2024, investigators interviewed 55-year-old Paul Hutchinson. As they discussed Danny's case, he exhibited signs of nervousness and other erratic behaviors. Less than 12 hours later, Hutchinson committed suicide. After the suicide, the sheriff's office received confirmation that DNA evidence was a complete match to Paul Hutchinson. Sheriff Springer says Hutchinson was married and worked for the Bureau of Land Management for 22 years. Hutchinson had two kids, a daughter around the age of 20 and a younger son. Springer says Hutchinson was a graduate student at Montana State and had only been in the area a short period at the time of the murder. This appeared to be a crime of opportunity where an evil man took the life of an innocent and lovely 15-year-old girl. This case exemplifies the sheriff's office relentless pursuit of justice. We never gave up on finding the truth for Danny and her family. But after nearly 28 years of fighting to find justice for her sister, Stephanie Houchin says she still feels unsatisfied. The institutions that are designed to protect the rights of victims to ensure that vicious killers are incarcerated to deliver justice in Montana those institutions failed my sister. Stephanie says 28 years is far too long and she had to fight far too hard to find justice for her 15-year-old sister. Montanans, Danielle's story should anger you, should make you think about your mothers, your sisters, your wives and your daughters, should make you think about everything you would do to protect and honor the women you love. The investigation into Danny's death is closed. However, law enforcement is still looking into Paul Hutchinson's life and possible connections to other cold cases. In Belgrade, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.